Hi everyone, it is Pam with Eye Candy Scraps and I have a Thirsty Thursday video to, with you today which is card two from the Pear and Partridge Workshop on the Go kit. It's a really awesome kit so check out my um, channel because I have there's three cards to make in the kits and this is card two so be sure to check out my channel so you can see the other ones. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now to make card two, which is this one here, you're going to need your stamp set, of course, and your card. Now, and you're going to need your your one by three and a half and your three by three block. Six of the red glimmer gems and the instructions call for what was it 11 inches of ribbon well just wa watch how I assemble the card we are not going to use 11 inches of the ribbon that's a little bit wasteful so we just watch and watch more and you're going to need your cranberry and your olive ink pad the B and T paper, the cranberry, and the cocoa. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything all cut, and we will be back and we will put our card together. Okay, now that we got all of our pieces cut, we're going to work on our card. And it says for card two, it says stamp image six, which is going to be you know the one that says have yourself a merry little Christmas and we're going to stamp that on 2D which is going to be our white colonial paper. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now the next step it says to mask a portion of the stamp and then just stamp out a Merry Little Christmas. Well, I do not do that, do it that way. And it says, you know, for a little bit of that on a little bit of paper. What I did is I got some scratch paper and in the cranberry I took it and I stamped, you know, with the bottom part of it at the edge of the paper. So, you, you know, here's a, a little bit of an ex example of what I did. I had, you know, it was a piece, it was this piece of paper with it, and I did that, and then I stuck this in my trimmer, and I kind of eyeballed where it to go. I mean, I didn't quite get it the way I wanted it, but. it's pretty good and then so that way we can just line it up with this and then put it on and trim from that way because it just that way it, it just seemed easier to me to do it that way than the way the instructions said so that's the way I did it you can follow the instructions step by step but that's the way I did mine because it didn't say and it didn't have any measurements for this part at all so I just kind of did it that way and now it says that it wants us to add everything attach accent to 2D well before we do that we're going to want to ink it up because that is how it's done on there. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up. And then get my scissors. I'm 
and trim it. It says to attach 2A to 2B. Okay, and as I said earlier, it says to take the 11 inch ribbon and wrap it around, but this is what we're going to do. We're not going to take an 11 inch ribbon because we do not need to. Take a photo tab. Stick it on the edge of the ribbon. Another photo tab. Whoops. Make sure it's lined up straight. Like so. Lay the photo tab right there on the edge. Trim off your ribbon. And voila, there we go. We did not use 11 inches. Now we're just going to take some ribbon, tie a knot, I'm going to take some tacky glue just put a little dot there take this figure out what, how we're going to put this on there and then take this and just put it right on there. There, and we saved ribbon. So that's my little trick on, you know, your saving stuff. But we, we forgot a step. We're supposed to do this one.
Now for this, I'm actually going to use my ATG. And don't forget the sparkles, which I almost did. And there you go. Here is card two. So be sure to um, subscribe to my channel and check out my blog. I got some really cool stuff and I have a happy scrapping day.